Hello YouTube, it's Grace again and today I thought I'd do my spring haul. So this is going to be all the books that I bought for myself um, in the months of April, May and June. Um, I just want to quickly throw this out here there that this is not bragging in any way. I usually don't get as many books as I have got like in this whole um, haul. Yeah, this whole haul. Um, I don't usually get like, this many books. I just got it main. I mainly got the books. Um, I ordered them mainly in May. Once um, I had my exams. So once I had my exam and I was finishing up with my first year of university, I thought I'd treat myself and buy a lot of books. And then I found quite a lot of books on the cheap. So that led to me buying more books, and that's why there are so many. But usually I wouldn't have this many books. And I think that I'm going to do seasonal hauls from now on. Um, with, the, with the exception of occasions like my birthday which is in August. So I may have a birthday haul and just separate that from um, the summer haul overall. But I don't know, I'll see what happens. So just to get into this. So the first three books which I got, and this is not in any particular order, are um, the companion novels to the Harry Potter um, series. So I've got The Tales of Beedle and the Bard um, by J.K. Rowling, um, Quidditch Through the Ages again by J.K. Rowling um, from the world of Harry Potter, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them again by J.K. Rowling. The next set of books that I got for myself are some of the Lunar Chronicles books because I wanted to get the entire series so I can eventually mount on that because of this being in the series highly recommended to me and I've already read Cinder but I wasn't really in the mood to continue the series so I hope to continue the series at a later point but yeah I wanted to collect all of them so I have Winter, Fairest, and stars above and I have the other books on my shelves and I got them early on in the year. The next set of books I got have a particular theme which are books kind of related to Robin Hood so they're all like Robin Hood retellings or um, there's a graphic novel of the actual story so the first um, Robin Hood retelling I have is Quartz Maid which is written by Catherine Lasky and I have not read this yet but I will do I will get to it because I love Robin Hood the next thing I have is the Forest Wife Trilogy by um, Teresa Tomlinson I read this a couple of years ago and I highly enjoyed it and I wanted a copy for myself so the next book I got was Maid Marian by Elsa Watson and the graphic novel I got was Outlaw The Legends of Robin Hood by Tony Lee, Sam Hart and Arthur Fujita. So next I have um, The Song of Achilles by Mad... The next up book, um, set of books I got were a collection of Jackson Pierce's fairy tale retellings. I don't know what the series is called but I just think they're called retellings and I'm not entirely sure who this finds. So the first book is Sisters Red, followed by Sweetly, Fabulous, and Cold Spell. The next book I um, got recently is Ash by Melinda Lowe, which is a Cinderella retelling. I have also got The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine. Next I have Cruel Beauty by Rosamond Hodge, which is a Beauty and the Beast read. I also have The Wrath and the Door by Rose. So the next thing I have are two box sets which I ordered from Arts and Crafts Books back in the beginning of May, I believe, and they took ages to arrive. Um, the first one is Miss Peregrine Toad for Peculiar Children, and I'm not going to take it out of the box set because that would be very long, very difficult, and strenuous. It also includes the 12 extra pictures, um, so it includes Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City and Library of Souls, all by Ransom Riggs. Yep. Um, these arrived like after like 3-4 weeks from when I ordered it and that is when it was supposed to arrive. 
Um, the next thing I ordered was the Ruby Red Trilogy box set, including Ruby Red, Sapphire Blue and Emerald Green. This did not, this was supposed to arrive with this, but they sent it in different, in separate packages. So this did not arrive, so I had to contact them. So two weeks beyond when it was supposed to be due, which I think was three weeks after I ordered it. So this is five weeks and it had not arrived. So I emailed them and they got me a replacement and I got it yesterday, I think. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. So that took another two weeks practically to arrive to me. But it eventually did, so I'm happy. But whether I'll order from them ever again, I don't think so because it just took so long. So the next book I bought was The Jewel by Amy Ewing. I believe is how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I pronounced it really wrong. The reason why I got this is because I bought the companion novel months and months and months ago thinking that it was the first book to this duology, I like to say, and it wasn't. So I was just like, oh, I need to buy the first book. So it took me ages and then I remembered, oh, I need to buy the first book, so I bought it. So next I bought the um, Raven Boys Quartet by Maggie Stevada, including the Raven Boys, the Dream Thieves, which I am currently reading, Blue Lily Lily Blue, and the Raven King, all by Maggie Stevada. Okay, I've also bought the A Darker Shade of Magic and A Gathering of Shadows, the first two books to the trilogy, I like to say, <laughs> by the E. Schwab. Um, the reason why I bought A Dark Shade of Magic is because it was one of one of the book clubs book of the months, I believe it was for May, so I bought this in May, and then after that I wanted the, the second book, so yeah. bought House Moving Castle, which is the first book to a trilogy, which includes House Moving Castle, Castle in the Sky, and House of Many Ways, I think it is. Yeah. So I'd already got this months ago. But I didn't like the cover, and I wanted the first book, so yeah, got this. And I got the graphic novel Nimona by Noelle Stevenson, because it was the June pick of the month for my book club, um, lit books, or books like the way. Next I have Demon Road by Derek Landley, and I got this book because Derek Landley is one of my favourite authors. Simple. Next I have Demon Road by Derek Landley and I got this book because Derek Landley is one of my favourite authors. Simple. So I've also received um, Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I also received Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Graden, I like to say is the pronunciation. And I received The Wing Singer um, by William Nicholson, which is the first book of the series I believe called The Wind of Fire. I also got Legend by Marie Lu and Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott. I have The Cine's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. I also bought Jacoby by William Ritter on the recommendation of a few people of my book club on the Books and Writing we know. I also bought The Winner's Curse by Marie Bukowski which is the first book in the trilogy called The Winner's Trilogy I think. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo because I want to read Six of Crows but I feel like I should know the sort of world it's in so therefore I feel like that would be more beneficial if I read this series first but I thought I'd give the first book of the trilogy. I've also bought Code and Verity by Elizabeth Vine. I kind of like this cover but it's a library book and I did not know this when I purchased it but there, yeah, I purchased it because it wasn't written in the description but I may buy a replacement but I haven't read this yet so we'll see how that goes. I also purchased uh, Matched by Ali Condi and I have not read this before. I purchased The Awakened by Sarah Elizabeth Santana and the reason why I purchased this is because Ben over at Benjamin Tome often talks about this book and I believe it's published by his publishing company so yeah, power to him for doing so. I also purchased The Kiss of Deception by Mary yeah, um, yeah, I was really intrigued by this book and I really hope to get to it soon. And one thing I was going to ask about this is that it has some sticky residue on the front and the back. And I was wondering if anybody has any tips of getting sticky residue off of books because I tried looking it up 
and all the things just sounded like they could soak the book through and I really didn't want to risk it or make it smell of vinegar or nail polish remover. So, yeah. Okay, another book I got is The Star Touch Cream by Roshani Chuxi. I'd like to say it is. And I purchased this from Amazon because I was really intrigued by it and I've heard it ha it's had some amazing ratings and reviews. So I want to give it a go and just join this train, basically. So next I have The Lie Tree by Frances Hardridge, Sean by Rainbow Rowell, As a Rose by one of my favourite historians, Lucy Worsley, The Gargoyle by Andrew Davidson, and The Girl with a Pearl Earring by Tracy Cavalier, I like to say so it's pronounced, and The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. So we're nearing the end of this whole haul. The last um, load of books are all contemporaries, which is why I pretty much got them because I don't read much contemporary and I really want to expand in that boundary. And um, yeah, so um, starting with contemporaries, I wrote one of the most iconic series, which I have not read because I'm not much of a contemporary lover, is the Anna and the French Kiss book with the companion novels. So it includes Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happy Moon Ever After. Another iconic duology I purchased was um, Jenny Han to All the Boys of Love Before trilogy, and I believe it's now going to be a trilogy. So yeah. So it includes To All the Boys of Love Before and P.S. I Still Love You. Um, and Fort with Mars Oz by John Green. I've also purchased um, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon and I've done a review on this so again you can find this on my channel. And the Faceless by Elisa Schmel? Okay, I butchered and I apologise. Very sincerely. Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkalaz? I'd like to say and yeah, I'm sorry. I read this numerous years ago and I enjoyed it at the time so I just thought I'd purchase a copy and see how it compares to what I thought it was before. Statistical probability of love at first sight? Okay, sight. I always confuse this because it's set in an airport and I think it says flight but it says sight. Live I Have on the Fence by Casey West. Okay. And a recent movie with by the Jojo and Wade, which I went to see the movie, but yeah, I have not yet read the book. Yes, I know it's criminal. And yes, I sincerely apologise once more. But what can you do? Now, obviously, I couldn't have a contemporary part of this haul if I didn't include the Queen of Contemporary herself, Miss Morgan Matson. So, I got all her books because I'm sure I most likely would enjoy them, and if I don't anyway, I could just bundle it and give it away, or sell it, or whatever because they're all done by the same author and yeah I think people would enjoy it so by publishing date I, as I believe it is Amy and Roger's Epic Detour Second Chance Summer Since You've Been Gone and The Unexpected Everything which I believe I got in a Wire Chronicles box yeah I believe so so yeah and these Final books, I, again I got in the White Chronicles book box, so I think one of these, I think it's the sidekicks, I did not get between April and June, so yeah, but I ha I'm just going to include it because I can't remember what month or which one it is, but I think it's this one, but, so the sidekicks by Will, um, okay, I am really Um, this is One World End by Amy Zhang and the re most recent one which is You Know Me Well by Nina LaCure and David Levy or Levi or however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> so that was my spring book haul and it took quite a while to film, longer than I anticipated. 
So if you have any strong opinions or even just any old opinions about any of the books mentioned in this haul, please comment down below because I'd be interested to, think, to hear what you think about these books and it may encourage me to start them soon. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I guess I'll see you later. Goodbye!